Are you tired of wading through confusing supplements like creatine and others just to figure out what's the good kind, what's the bad kind, what's beneficial, and what's just hype? It's a lot that's going on. Well, today we're going to go into the nitty gritty of just one powerful supplement because it's always the talk of the town as far back as I can remember, and that's creatine, this little compound. It might be the secret to supercharging your athletic performance, boosting brain function, and there's a lot more. But is it for everybody? And how do you find a quality supplement among so many options? Stay tuned, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about the mysteries of creatine and give you all the facts and science back lowdown. So grab a protein shake or whatever is your favorite drink, and let's get started. Now let's talk about creatine's superpowers, because I'm a big fan of those. And it's particularly handy for those involved in intense, short-duration activities like sprinting, weightlifting, and team sports. And here's why. First, Creatine supplementation can lead to bigger, stronger muscles and a boost in your athletic performance. It increases your capacity to perform repetitive exercises, which can amplify your strength, muscle mass, and overall athletic performance. But remember, with creatine, it's not just about the brawn, but it's also about the brain. Creatine can enhance cognitive performance, especially in older adults, improving performance during cognitive tasks. Are you concerned about injury prevention? Well, creatine can help reduce muscle spasms and damage to the musculoskeletal and nervous system by promoting proper hydration and muscle function. Did you know creatine also helps with bone health? Creatine supplements can help older people suffering from sarcopenia and bone health problems by preventing the loss of muscle and bone. Lastly, it can even improve skin health. Studies have shown that using a cream with creatine may help reduce sagging skin and wrinkles, and a cream containing creatine and folic acid may enhance skin repair and diminish the appearance of fine lines caused by sun exposure. But remember, creatine's effectiveness varies among people, so not everyone is going to have the same type of benefits. Well, now we talked about the good side. What are the bad effects? What are those side effects? Well, when it comes to side effects related to creatine, there's not too many reported side effects when taking creatine at appropriate doses. The main side effect of creatine supplementation is weight gain, particularly due to increased lean body mass. Athletes may want it, but people should know that body weight might change a little bit. Another side effect seems to affect some people is that creatine can cause upset stomach with diarrhea and or gas. So if you have a sensitive stomach, then you might want to test what you'll experience from the side effects of creatine before you commit to buying a bottle and making it part of your fitness supplementation routine. The other side effect of long-term or excess creatine is it causes issues with liver and kidney function. Creatine doesn't affect kidney function in healthy people, but those with kidney problems should be careful. Individuals with kidney disorders should consult with a healthcare professional before using creatine. Doctors have reported that when taking creatine at appropriate levels, you can safely take creatine for about five years without any major side effects. Creatine supplementation can be beneficial for specific individuals and circumstances. If you're not sure if it's right for you, always check with your healthcare professional. However, there are some general times where you're an ideal candidate for using creatine. This is such as if you're an athlete who focuses on strength or speed. Creatine supplements, they're going to help enhance your athletic performance. These type of athletes that require quick bursts of speed, increased muscle strength, power, they'll all greatly benefit from supplementation. Examples of these athletes, they include weightlifters, sprinters, and team sport players like basketball. Additionally, individuals with low levels of creatine, such as vegans and vegetarians, might benefit from supplementation as well. Now, in terms of who should avoid creatine, it's kind of straightforward. You should really avoid creatine when you have kidney problems. Talk to a healthcare professional before taking it, especially if you're not sure. Furthermore, pregnant, breastfeeding women, individuals under the age of 18, and those with known allergies or sensitivities to creatine are any of the ingredients, also really should consider avoiding its use altogether. Now, you average beginners, I know you have a very common question, which is, is creatine worth including in your life? The decision of whether creatine is worth it usually depends on your individual goals and circumstances. In most cases, for most athletes, the answer is a general yes. However, before getting started, consider these certain factors, such as the potential benefits of creatine. Creatine supplementation shows promise in enhancing strength, muscle mass, and performance, especially in high intensity, short duration activities. It also has the potential for cognitive and bone health 
benefits. Next, your individual response, it really doesn't matter. The effectiveness of creatine can vary amongst individuals. While people may experience positive effects, it's important to recognize that not everyone may respond in the same way. It's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before beginning supplementation. Next, you want to check the quality and safety of the product. When selecting creatine supplements, there's tons out there, and it's important to choose a product that adheres to recommended manufacturing practices, the best practices, and they undergo things like third-party testing that ensure the quality and safety of the product because you don't want to get some kind of poison or something bad in there, bad additives mixed in with your creatine. So you got you to gotta look at what they're putting in there. Creatine supplementation is typically taken daily to maintain optimal creatine levels in the body. The time of creatine intake can vary based on personal preference and individual needs, plus whatever the instructions on the bottle tell you. However, there's some things to keep in mind. First, let's consider daily use because taking creatine every day is a common practice to ensure you have consistent levels in your body. This is especially relevant for athletes or individuals that are regularly engaged in very taxing physical activity. Maintaining those elevated creatine levels are what athletes usually need to help improve their performance or size. So consistent daily supplementation is necessarily when you're an athletic individual. Next, you gotta consider the personal dosage amount. The appropriate dosage of creatine can vary depending on factors such as body weight and specific goals. It's advisable to follow the recommended dosage and instructions provided by the chosen creatine supplement company or consult with a healthcare professional. Aside from dosage, you should also consider the time of day in which you take it. You take creatine any time during the day that's convenient for you. There's no established best time to take it. Some individuals prefer it before or after workout, while others split the dosage throughout the day. Ultimately, consistency in daily intake is the key. One of the best ways to establish a time of day is to do it as part of your daily rituals and routines which you have. Similar to how you'll always brush your teeth before bed and after waking up, here's hoping. Finally, some people like to take their creatine and combine it with their carbs. Take creatine with carbs like after a meal or during a meal with fruit juice helps it absorb better and it helps raise your insulin levels at the same time. You can consider doing it, but it's not a necessary rule to do it. If you're finding value in everything you like so far, make sure you firmly press down that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so by now. When searching for the best creatine supplements, it's important to consider the following factors to ensure you get the best possible creatine for you. First, always keep in mind the quality and safety of the brand you are using. Choose reputable brands that follow recommended manufacturing processes and also undergo third-party testing, so to keep it 100. Second, the form of creatine matters. Creatine is available in many various forms, including creatine monohydrate, creatine ethyl ester, and many other forms. Creatine monohydrate, it's the most researched and commonly used form because it's known for its effectiveness and affordability. Another huge factor to keep in mind is to check the purity of your ingredients, aka don't let them cut down your creatine. Check the label to ensure the product contains pure creatine without unnecessary additives or fillers. Avoid supplements with undisclosed proprietary brands. Lastly, look at the brand's reviews and reputations. Consider reading customer reviews and checking reputable sources. Always remember that let other people do the research before you get that supplement. Now, if you want to know more information about avoiding injuries, then click here. If not, click here, and I'm going to ensure you enjoy that video, and I'll see you in the next video.